In this video we're going to review the flat screen TV cord and cable power kit. It's made by a company called Legrand. Now this product is used for retrofitting the hanging of a flat panel high definition television on a wall and it allows you to conceal both the electrical wiring and uh, the low voltage signal wiring like HDMI wires. Now we're going to unbox this package and then I'm going to show you the final product installed. Brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com Alright, so here's what comes in this kit. This is the upper electrical receptacle and as you can see it's in the form of a circle and here's the back side. So you cut this circular hole with the tool I'm going to show you in a minute and you can put this behind where the flat panel TV is going to go and your connection cables go right right there. Now I was able to push several connection cables through there which I'll show you a little later in the video. Now also connected to this is the electrical wiring so you don't have to hire an electrician to conceal an electrical receptacle behind the wall because it's pre-made for you and this cable <clears throat> is five foot long so that means you can uh, from behind the cabinet to behind the TV you can go up to five feet and then they pre-installed an electrical plug right here now the bottom portion is this the electrical plug would go right in there and you simply would take this back plate off two Phillips head screws and uh, plug it in just like you plug any other thing in and then put the plate back on and your low voltage connection cables uh, enter behind the wall through this again so it's a two piece setup I'll try to get both of these in the screen at the same time two pieces now to cut that circular hole this kit comes with a hole saw okay that's the hole saw right there and it's made of metal and you can connect this to an electric drill if you don't have an electric drill included in the kit is a is a hand drill so you attach this to that hole saw and you can hand drill your sheetrock your drywall to put this in and of course you need the center drill bit that goes right in that portion right there now once this is installed you need to plug the lower unit into a, an active electrical receptacle so they give you the cord to do that as well and last but not least in the kit they give you this nice little uh, it's called a fish tape which it's not a tape per se but that's the name of it it's a three piece plastic pole system that you assemble into one long pole and then you can put these various hooking devices on there and it allows you to string your low voltage wiring behind the wall from this unit to this unit. So if you look here at the top side I have a total of four HDMI connectors that are fitting through and there's room to spare for more connection cables so you can get an ample amount of cables to fit through this. Okay so now we're going to install this receptacle um, to conceal the electrical behind the sheetrock for that flat panel that's been hung on the wall and it'll be concealed by this electronics cabinet that will be moved up to this wall. Okay so this television is installed uh, using an articulating mount and I've pulled it away from the wall and you'll notice that the power for the TV is right here at the very bottom and that all of the connections are located right here. Now from behind the TV, I'm looking at the right side. If I'm in front of the TV, I'd be looking at the left side of the television. Regardless, in this case, this articulating mount is secured with four lag screws. One is here all the way on the top right. One is all the way on the bottom right. One is hidden behind this portion of the wall mount, top left, and one bottom left those lag screws are fastened into wall studs so I'm gonna put 
the top portion of the receptacle right in between here in between the wall studs and then the bottom one so that the cabinet conceals it. Okay so there's the top hole and I placed it a couple of inches below the bottom rail of that mount because there's a trim ring bezel on this product and I want to give ample room but I want to make sure that all the wires are concealed when the TV is pressed up against the wall. And I came down I drilled a second hole and I used the hole saw and my little cordless drill to go through the sheetrock. And then of course you know, there's some insulation in there. That's just the paper. So we'll be able to easily push the wires uh, up and down. And what I did was I measured the height of the electronics cabinet and then I subtracted a several inches and uh, I marked my hole directly below this hole in the same stud cavity but I kept it up high on purpose in other words it's fully concealed behind the electronics cabinet but it's high on purpose for this particular situation there there's no other receptacle on this wall so this was the best spot for it in your situation if you have receptacles on the wall you might want to make the height of the bottom one uh, in line with the receptacles. One thing we did do was we labeled each end of the HDMI wire. We have four HDMI wires so we labeled one, two, three, four respectively. Okay so the white plastic slash fiberglass rod in this image in my hand that's the fish tape and I've got four HDMI's taped to it in succession. One, two, three, four. Plus I have the, the Wii gaming console sensor right there. And then I have the electrical cord, which is just big, bulky. This is going to be a challenging pull. Do not use force. You have to use finesse to get this down the wall because, again, that wall's got insulation in it and it's going to bunch up. It's only a short pull, like three feet, but still it can be problematic and I don't want to damage any of the fittings on this wire. The other thing you'll notice, I folded the electrical tape back on itself on every one. makes it really easy to remove at the end. If you don't do it, you're, you're going to create a lot of problems. So here we go. Okay, so here's the bottom portion and we're just going to move that out of the way. We snap the trim ring on, all our communication wires low voltage wires are coming through then we just take this power cord and put it on right there and that is how we get wires concealed brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com for more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics Visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video.